okay, okay, okay. The best way to start off a brand new new year, a brand new decade, would be to have a brand new Nintendo Direct Week 1. There's only a few ways that can get even better for a player like me, a person like me, and that is that Direct to be solely focused on my favorite franchise, Pokemon. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today we're gonna go through my predictions, my thoughts, and my dreams of what's gonna be shown during the Pokemon Direct that's gonna happen on the 9th of January 2020 at 6.30 Pacific Time, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. If you don't know, I'm gonna have on the screen the, the tweet from Nintendo America, also Pokemon company also tweeted out some information about it saying new year new pokemon news that's how the saying goes all right notifications on trainers get ready to tune in for some exciting updates coming to the world of pokemon this year january 9th again with the time and then it hashtag pokemon 2020 with a gift of chairman rose throwing the Pokeball from Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Now, there's a lot of things, a lot of things that we could see during this Nintendo Direct. Let's get the obvious appearances out of the way. Pokemon Home. Pokemon Home was revealed about the same time last year. I want to say it was like during the Pokemon press conference was probably, if not in January, I'm probably mistaken the dates, but probably in the first couple of months. But they announced that Pokemon Home was a thing and all we got from Pokemon Home was basically a flow chart that said, hey, you could bring Pokemon from Pokemon Bank into Pokemon Home. You could bring Pokemon from Pokemon Let's Go into Pokemon Home, Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home. Sword and Shield could go to and back into Pokemon Home and future games will be compatible with Pokemon Home. So it sounds cool on paper, again, watching this chart and then also finding out that Pokemon Home is gonna be an app that we're gonna have on the Nintendo Switch as well. It could be something that we have on our smartphone. So again, a lot to be desired about information about Pokemon Home. They said it was gonna release early 2020. Guess what? It's early 2020. So I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we get hit with a release date, hopefully a shadow drop but I doubt that hopefully we do get a release date or a tour of the app or show us how it's gonna work or whatever the direct is gonna be 20 minutes long I, I forgot that information but the direct is gonna be 20 minutes long that is enough time to give us a you know five to seven minute video on Pokemon home itself and again just dive into the features let us know exactly how the app is gonna work itself now again I did say five to seven minutes that they're gonna be spending on Pokemon Home. Again, that's just a rough estimate. It is 20 minutes. So I do think they will dedicate half the time to Pokemon Home, unfortunately. Granted, I do wanna see at least four things inside of this Pokemon Direct. However, I do think they're gonna focus on a lot of random things that we're probably not even thinking about rather than the stuff that we want. Like, you know, we want Pokemon Snap too. We're probably not gonna see it. We want the Shin Hori mix we're probably not gonna see it hell we want the pokemon 2020 game that's gonna come out probably november i don't think we're gonna see it in this one it's like i think we might be teased and it might lead us on to saying hey we're gonna get more information soon but i don't think they're gonna just show us a trailer two months after they just released two games they released sword and shield in november so i don't think to start off the new year this is gonna be the new games you're gonna be hyped for i think as a marketing campaign that might just halt sales for the pokemon games however that might boost sales of the pokemon games get more people hyped into them and the pokemon company nintendo they're weird they do weird stuff like this next one on my list pokemon sleep is another one that they announced last year during that same pokemon press conference where they announced pokemon home they said pokemon sleep is going to be an app on your phone it's going to run coincide with pokemon go where basically you can have pokemon sleep with you which sounds creepy but at the same time sounds innovative as far as ways that they can track your sleeping and when i say that i mean like track how well you're sleeping if you're waking up at night depending if you have this device laying on your bed or whatever the case may be you get more points and stuff like that depending on how well you sleep and shit like that it sounds cool it sounds like the people who would be into pokemon go will dig it i don't think it's going to take over the world just like pokemon go did however this is going to be something that you check in before you go to sleep and then you check in again when you wake up and that's going to be it i don't see this as something that's going to be a main state to the pokemon franchise going in the future but something they do want to throw their dart at and you know take their 
spin their wheel on. And granted, I let them do the weird stuff, and this definitely falls in the weird category. So the fact that they already announced it and it has in the device the what is it, the Pokemon Go Plus Plus, I think that's gonna make an appearance as well. They hyped it up last year. I think we're gonna see that fully functional in this direct as well, with a probably a release date as well of Pokemon Sleep, which I think is gonna fall summer 2020 because I don't think they want to touch the toes if we are getting an RPG in November. I don't think they want to touch on the toes of that RPG with a, another Pokemon release during the same time that we're going to get a cluster of new devices in November next year. And I mean a cluster of new devices with whatever Nintendo decides to drop this year as far as a new Nintendo device if we are getting the Pro or, uh, you know, the XL because we are getting the PS5 and the X Series X this year. I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo had something up their sleeve. So I think Pokemon Sleep might sneak out before all of those big name devices drop. Another thing on my list, and this is going to probably dip in, started to dip in in predictions, what I think might happen, and that is Pokemon Quest 2 or a Gen 2 update to Pokemon Quest because Pokemon Quest dropped last year and it did very well initially because it was a free to start Pokemon game and it was fun. It was a weird take of Pokemon, but it was fun. It had the whole world talking about it for probably like a day and a half and jumped in and people paid for the DLC and everything in that game and, and it just dried up when you realize it was just the first 150 Pokemon and then they look so cute because they like cube versions of the same Pokemon, but it dried up really fast because everybody just ate up that content. The game was free and you couldn't really complain about a free game, but the combat in the game was definitely interesting and it was, again, a different take of Pokemon, something refreshing. So if they were to drop a Quest 2 or a DLC update that introduced the second generation, I think that would, again, rejuvenize that game for maybe about a week or so, get people back into it, people to download quests and play through the first part, the Kanto campaign, if you must. I think it would be cool if they did that. Do I think they're gonna do that? That's one that's, to me, it's on the maybe. Again, Pokemon Home and Sleep, I feel like it's guaranteed they're gonna talk about. If they do talk about Pokemon Quest, is getting like a minute, two minute trailer. Another one that to me is like, this may be happening. And again, it's I'm only saying that because they included the chairman of Pokemon during the gif of the tweet of the announcement for this Nintendo Direct. And that is Pokemon Sword and Shield update or DLC. Now, when I say update, I mean something that's, hey, these guys are gonna be in the next event as far as coming to raid dens. We do know that there are Pokemon in the game that aren't playable, like Sokaleo and Lunala and Zekron for some reason. There are a ton of Pokemon inside of the games that are currently unavailable. Their models are in the game and they're fully functional. They have moves and all that, but again, they're locked in the game without in-game means to get them. So maybe they would hint at something like DLC or again, like I said, update drops where they go, hey, these five Pokemon are gonna be available on, you know, February 1st. And then these five more Pokemon are gonna be available in May 1st and stuff like that, which to me might be disappointing, but cool to stretch the legs of this game, especially if what are we getting in 2020 is unanswered during this threat. That is a way to lay a roadmap of Pokemon content throughout the year that isn't something Thing about the brand new games. And the last thing again that I think we're again it's a dream if they do announce whatever is coming 2020 for the Pokemon franchise. When I say that, I mean new RPGs or maybe a new Pokemon tournament, a new mystery dungeon. Whatever is gonna be the big RPG, let's go, whatever game for 2020 during November or you know, whenever they drop the big tempo game of the year, what is that game gonna be? I think it will be very bold at the top of the year to announce it, saying, hey, this is coming late 2020, here's a tease. I think that would be very bold again because they just drop Pokemon Sword and Shield in November and that game is, is huge and it's still a lot of stuff that I personally need to do in the game. So I feel like it was a lot of Pokemon already. Showing us something new again is going to be like, whoa, y'all guys are really pumping out more Pokemon and stuff like that. Again, it could be a brand new game. It could be a remake. It could be Pokemon. Do I think that we're going to see something like that? I doubt it. It's This is a dream. 
this is a dream. This is, again, why I saved it for the end of the video. It's something that I feel that I want to happen. Do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. But again, these are my predictions, my thoughts, my dreams of what we're going to see during the January 9th Direct. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. As you guys know, this is a conversation. I want to talk to you guys and I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation in the comment section below. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Best believe I'm going to drop my reaction for the Pokemon Direct as soon as it drops. I'm, I'm Unfortunately, I'm in a brand new studio and I don't have the live stream set up as I want it to yet. I'm still tinkering with that so I would not be able to live stream the event. Hopefully I have that before E3 but again I would not be able to live stream the event. However, I will be recording my reaction and uploading it here to YouTube so again if you want to see my reaction hit that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell so you can be notified when that video comes live and if you enjoy this video and conversations like it hit that like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the video. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. And I'm fucking hyped. We got a Pokemon Direct to start off 2020. We got a Pokemon Direct. Not a, not a Metroid Direct. No. Not a, not a Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. No. We got a Pokemon Direct to start 2020. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.